All right guys, so last year I made another video about Audible and how it works. It's the most viewed video on my entire channel, which leads me to believe that as a premier audiobook streaming service, people are taking Audible very seriously. But being owned by Amazon, the app is still not entirely self-explanatory to everyone out there. After all, audiobooks haven't been around all that long. So when you try something new and you get an app like this, I can definitely understand how it might be a little daunting or confusing at first. So in this video, I'm going to go over some of the basics of Audible, how it works, and I'm going to do a walkthrough of the app and answer some questions about it that I got from the last video. Just so you guys know, there may be affiliate links in the description, and if you buy anything through those links, then I get commission, which helps me build this channel and keep making these videos. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam, and I want to make self-growth normal, because people shouldn't have to look this information up. It should just be mainstream knowledge. If you agree, then please make sure to smash that like button. So let's talk about this. What is Audible? What is a credit? What else is included in your membership? Can you purchase more credits if you run out, and how? I'm also going to go over a walkthrough of the app and some of the controls for when you're listening to a book. If there are any questions, any, about Audible that I did not answer in this video, please let me know in the comments. Before we get started, I want to throw out a quick disclaimer and potentially filter out some of those comments. This does not apply to most of you, but please do not ask about file conversions, transfers, or third-party software. Please, I only talk about Audible on this channel. Someone in the last video asked me about changing their VPN to bypass geographical restrictions. Folks, with all due respect, what in the frick? As long as it has to do with any of that stuff, whatever it is, I don't know, and I'd like to keep it that way. What is Audible? Audible, according to Wikipedia, is an American online audiobook and podcast service that allows users to purchase and stream audiobooks and other forms of spoken word content. It is compatible with Android, iOS, Mac OS, Windows, and Kindle. To use it on a smartphone or tablet, you do have to download the app. To use it on a computer, you just go to the site. Audible is known primarily for its unmatched selection of audiobooks, programs, and plenty more. The most central part to Audible is a membership. This is just like any other membership where you pay money monthly or yearly for certain benefits. Now, there are different membership options, and I'll drop some links in the description to videos that I've made about those, but the most popular gives you one credit per month, and I think the cost depends on your country, but in America right now, this membership is about $15 a month. What is a credit? Well, if you have a credit, you can use that credit to buy any audiobook on the platform, no matter what the price is. Most books in the Harry Potter series, for example, are over $30 a piece, but you could easily buy them with credits instead. Like I always say, you can use a credit to buy a $20 book and you can use a credit to buy a $100 book. A credit is a credit is a credit is a credit. And there are different ways to get more credits and stuff like that, but I made a whole video about how credits work and I'll drop a link to that in the description too. It is not nearly as complicated as it sounds. I promise. The important thing is that a credit can buy you a book, okay? And buying books with credits can often be much less expensive than buying with money, but that just makes you wonder what else is included in the membership. This has not changed in the last year. First off, you have originals. This is basically an audiobook that is exclusive to Audible. It's like Netflix or Hulu with the way that they have their originals. These can be comedy specials, memoirs, or even plays. You'll know it's an Audible original for sure though when it says only from Audible in a little yellow ribbon in the corner of the cover. A lot of them are free with your membership, but not all of them. Secondly, there's audiobooks. If you are an Audible member, believe it or not, there are actually audiobooks already included in your membership and you don't have to buy them. This is called the Audible Plus catalog. They have bio and memoir, business and finance, fantasy, fiction and literature, health and wellness, history and politics, kids, mystery and thriller, and plenty, plenty more. To get to this on your phone, you just go to discover at the bottom of the screen and under discover something new at the top of the screen, tap on Audible Plus. To get to this on your computer, all you do is go to Plus Catalog at the top of the screen. Sleep tracks and meditation programs. This can include bedtime stories, which are sometimes from celebrities like Diddy or Nick Jonas. Sleep sounds, mindfulness meditations, sound baths, which is like resonant instrument tracks, uh, ASMR, and, and if you don't know what any of these things are, you hear them like, whoa, what the heck is a sound bath? If you click on it, it will tell you what it is. But a lot of this is really nice for people who can't sleep that easily without some background noise. If you're interested in anything digital sleep tracks, I definitely recommend just exploring this. Podcasts. Audible has their own podcasts that I believe are exclusive to the platform 
platform and they have a bunch of different options in everything from business to comedy to sports to true crime to music to spirituality to kids and family. I mean, they have like 20 different genres available. To get this on your phone, just go to Discover and Podcasts should be at the top. To get this on your computer, you can find podcasts under Featured in Browse at the top. So you can browse by category and if you're looking for a specific one, you can find it the same way you would find a book, whether you're on your phone, tablet, or computer, you just do it on the search bar. On all these mediums, you can find the search bar in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. You'll know it's a podcast though when you're searching and it says under the title that there are a certain number of episodes. Now I know that this just sounds like I'm babbling about a bunch of random features and how to get to them, but this is actually just other things included in your membership. Some people don't care about any of this. I barely use any of it myself, but what I like is that there are some super sweet limited time deals, especially toward the end of the year when the holidays come. When I was writing this video out, I saw a bunch of books that were like 80% off, which is just nuts. But you know what they say, when life gives you nuts, you, you, you just buy a bunch of audiobooks for 80% off. Now, if you cancel your membership, do you get to keep the books you bought? Let's say you got a free audiobook from your 30-day trial on Audible, but you really only need one audiobook right now, and if you want one later, you'll get it, but for now, you just don't. So if you cancel it, do you get to keep the book? This is the absolute most common question I get about Audible. The answer is yes. Even after the trial, if you cancel Audible, you do get to keep the books forever. And unlike that stupid X, they will always be there for you. Purchasing extra credits when you run out. Let's say you got a membership where you just get one credit per month and that's not enough. Maybe there's a month that you just can't stop listening to audiobooks and you need more audiobooks. Is there a way to buy more credits? Yes, there is, but you can only buy them when you run out of credits. You should be able to do this on your phone on the app now, which I don't think was possible in 2023. Go to profile in the lower right-hand corner, settings, which should be a little gear icon in the upper right-hand corner, then scroll down and go to details under membership. Where it says your credits, you should be able to hit something that says buy now, follow the screen prompts, and you should have your credits. You can do it on your computer by logging into Audible. It'll say at the upper right, hello, Samuel, or hello, Hello, Nicodemus, or whatever your name is. I don't know your name. You do, though. Hello, Hello Nicodemus. Nicodemus. On the right, it'll say zero credits available with a buy three extra credits next to it. How much this is will actually depend on your membership, but for most people, I think it's somewhere around $30 plus applicable sales tax. I can tell you, though, that whatever your membership costs per credit, this is actually less. I have the top membership. It gives you 24 credits once a year, and it costs me less than $10 a credit, which is why I have not spent more than $10 on an audiobook in years, and that makes me a happy camper. And here we are at the Audible walkthrough. Now, if you open the Audible app on your device, you will see that there are four icons at the bottom of the screen. Home, Library, Discover, and Profile. Let's go over these. The home is like a home screen on any other app. At the very top, it'll be some program or book that they're trying to shove down people's throats or something. <laughs> and then below that, they have plenty of recommendations like recommended for you, on sale, originals, top picks, new releases, bestsellers, and many more. Next is library. This is what you currently have in your library. If you're just trying to find a specific book or program, you can type it at the top of the screen where it says library with a little magnifying glass. But under that option, you can filter it by audiobooks, podcasts, wish lists, collection, which is kind of like Audible's version of a playlist. Also authors, series, and genres. And under each one, you can filter it by all titles, the ones you haven't started yet, the ones you're still listening to, the ones you've downloaded, and the ones you've finished. Now, that's just filtering them. You can also sort them in the upper right where it says recent. That allows you to sort them by when you last used them, the length, the title, the author, and the release date. If you hit select, you can select multiple audiobooks to remove from your library or add to a collection, but that is library. Discover, this we already kind of went over, but if you're interested in a specific book or program, you can always find that in the search feature. Unless you have profile. This is where you can find how long you've been a member, what membership you have, how many credits you have, what's included in your membership, and this is new, tips and tricks on how to be, use Audible. It's more like specific stuff, but I'll tell you one thing, it gave me a ton of video ideas. <laughs> Ways to listen, membership, library, and player controls, which we'll go over in a second. There's also a badge collection, where each one has a cute little poem on how to get the badge. For example, the social butterfly, if status updates are kind of your thing, you're well on your way to winning this bling. And there's listening level, which I never look at because I've been using Audible so long, I don't even know when I hit master level. Listening time, which tells you how long you listened today, the last five days, the last month, and in total. There's also recent listening history, which is new, and customer support. Now, when you open the app, 
at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a player for the book. That doesn't go away. I, I don't know why. Personally, it never bothered me, but it is a convenient way to continue listening to whatever you were listening to last. But let's take a closer look at this. On the left, it will show the cover, the book name, the chapter you're on, how much time is left, and your listening speed. On the right, you can press play or pause, and you can even go back 15 seconds. If you tap on the bar, it'll take up the whole screen. Now underneath the audiobook cover, to the left of the chapter name, there are three horizontal lines with dots next to them. This is what lets you change the chapter. You can scroll through the chapter you're on with that little orange ball. Uh, it'll tell you on both sides of the line how far you are into it and how much is left. And underneath that are the player controls. The middle one is play and pause. The ones outside that let you skip forward or back 15 seconds. And the ones outside those let you go forward or back a whole chapter. At the bottom of the screen, if you cannot stand how fast or slow the narrator is speaking, you can always change the playback speed and it will show at the bottom of the screen what your playback speed is. You can go as low as 0.5 times and as high as three and a half times, but you can go up or down with the plus or minus icons. Timer, which is great for when you want to listen while you're falling asleep because it'll play the audiobook for a set time and then drift off when that time is over so you can continue from where it left off the next time you listen. And then there's bookmarks and I made a video about how to do those so I'm just going to link that in the description. And lastly, are there any drawbacks to Audible? Now I've been an Audible user for six, seven years now and I love it, love it, love it, love it. So for this to just be a biased review, it wouldn't be exactly fair, right? There's mainly really only one downside to this app, and I've gotten so many comments about this, it's not even funny, but I'll disclose it now for a lot of you who are wondering. Audible is amazing, it's amazing, but it's not what I'd call all you can eat like Spotify or Netflix, and here's why. The truth is, Audiobooks are not yet decentralized like music, TV shows, and movies are. And I don't know why this is exactly. It might have to do with books just not being as popular, but I can tell you that audiobooks contain a lot more content than movies and music. Instead of one, one or two hours like many movies or albums, most audiobooks can be somewhere between six and eight hours long. Some as long as 30 or more. But that's where audiobooks decentralization stands right now, and I know that ruffled some feathers in my last video, but when I said this, not really anyone responded. If you're looking for something beyond the library, where you pay once a month and you listen all you want to anything, whenever, it doesn't exist. Okay, Audible is the closest thing to it. If it does exist, I can just about guarantee you it's not available in America. And if it is, I can just about guarantee you it does not have close to the same selection Audible does, let alone customer service. So essentially, that's what you're paying for. And it has a heck of a value proposition too. The physical and digital ownership of books for quite some time is not, and has not been just give it away cheap. But when you compare the per credit prices at like $10, $15, it sounds like a good deal to me when Barnes & Noble are out here charging 20 30 40 dollars a book i'd rather spend 10 dollars for a book than 30 wouldn't you but that is how audible works in 2024 i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it answered all your questions if it didn't if there are any questions literally any any that you need to know even ones that you know you're convinced that the next person who's going to need to know this they're probably going to look it up in like a year from now please 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 let me know in the comments below and if it requires more than a paragraph or two i will do what i can to make a video and answer it for you i want to make sure there's nothing I left unsaid or unexplained because this is an app that has completely transformed my life and I really want it to have the same effect on you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already because I don't get why people watch this far into my videos and they don't subscribe. But if you have subscribed and you want to turn it up just a notch and turn on that notification bell to get a notification whenever I drop new videos, that would mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You can find me everywhere and I will see you then.